Hi everyone, here's Jarek from Plekvetica and we are here at the Greenfield Festival with Per from Sabaton. Welcome and Per. Ah, thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> So, Per, uh, you guys have this awesome Sabaton History channel, I could say, on YouTube. It's really great, and I want to ask you, uh, how did you come up with this awesome idea to get history, and uh, oh, war history, and your songs and music nearer to the fans? Okay, first of all, I mean, it was an idea. Like 15 years ago, we wanted to tell the stories about the songs a little bit more. We put inside of the CD booklets, we put next to the lyrics, mm -hmm. we put some short stories there. But today people don't really buy that much CDs anymore and don't really spend so much time reading the booklets. So, but already done, we thought about, we want to do this in a proper way. And the best way to do it would be by doing a documentary series. Mm -hmm. This was impossible to do in 2005. Mm -hmm because we had not nearly the, the amount of uh, resources required for doing such a thing. But it grew, the idea grew in, in, uh, in the minds and um, over time we, we thought, okay, we're getting closer and closer to the possibility of doing it. Then uh, a few years ago I met Indy Nidell, the host of it, yes. and I was a guest on his previous, uh, one of his channels, and uh, I really liked the format of it. Uh, I became a follower of him, yes. and as we were gonna do the new album, I contacted him and asked if if it's about time to start the Sabaton History Channel. Yeah. He loved the idea, it was a, exactly a year ago yeah. when we were sitting down in, uh, in my hometown in Sweden mm -hmm. and Inde came up to see me and uh, we were sitting down and we decided let's do it. Then it took about eight months to, to launch it and now we are 20 episodes. Okay, 20 already. 20 and uh, we're gonna do every song. Yeah, that's it. Then you have much to do, yeah. Ah, we've been busy. <laughs> yes. Um, where did this passion or interest for uh, history war came from and where did it talk, uh, take start in your life? Mm. Uh, I, I think first of all, I, I, all my life, I was always interested in what was happening in the real world more than fantasy and fiction. Yeah. So whenever I was watching something I knew was based on reality or reading about something that was based on reality, I, it always catch my attention more. But I wasn't really into, into history until we really started to do it for real in the band. Yeah. Um, so, and, and still, it's just tiny compared to the metal uh, thing, you know. Yeah. H history is a, is a side effect. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm very happy and proud of what we are doing instead of writing about just anything else. Yeah, so uh, I'm still very proud of it. And since we launched the Sabaton History Channel, we have become proper teachers. Before that, people said, oh, Sabaton is the best history teachers in the world. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really agree to that, mm -hmm. because before you could, I mean, in, in the song of three, four minutes, mm -hmm. you cannot learn anything. Yeah. You can only get an idea what the song is about. Yeah. But um, once we launched the Sabaton History Channel, February 7, then uh, things changed mm -hmm. and we became proper history teachers. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad, no. Really. Uh, your new album, The Great War, will be released on uh, 19th July, next month. Uh, you also did, I think this Wednesday, was released uh, the first trailer about it. And, oh, yeah, as I've seen. And uh, in this trailer, you talked also about the researches you did for the new album concept. And I wanted to know, in general, how do you do these researches, maybe in collaboration with historians or library, or how you do this? Every album is a bit different, mm -hmm. depending on the topic of the album. Yeah. So we are doing World War One, and in our team, since we launched the Sabaton History Channel, we have an absolute expert, okay. one of the top leading experts of World War One. Yeah. He's now working for us. Yeah. So we don't really need to go so far, you know. Okay. And uh, the funny thing is he, he has done all these 600 episodes of uh, documentary yeah. about uh, World War I. Yeah. So if we ask him like anything, mm -hmm. like, okay, uh, can you tell us something about this? He will say, 
just check out episode 455 oh, yeah. and 456 because that battle took place in two weeks during this time. Yeah. And then we can check it out and then we get everything we need from there. And if there is anything more, yeah. we just ask him. So actually the research for this latest album was not that difficult at all because we had him close at hand. Yeah, that's really nice. So you can go really fast and don't have to uh, take too much time to make research. It definitely helps. Yeah. Um, how did the recordings go with the new album? I mean, are there, or was there maybe a, a song that uh, caused some trouble, a bit problems you had to manage, or did everything go right as, as always? We had no problems whatsoever. It was very smooth, very simple, I think, uh, recording. Everybody did their part very quickly, and uh, we were working with Jonas Schelgen this time, who's um, He's been with us for a very long time, but never done a proper album with us. Okay. He's done single songs, live stuff, and, and he's a great guy, and he works very efficient. So actually, um, it was very smooth working with him. So I have no, no complaints whatsoever in the studio. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. There was a couple of, uh, we even had the possibility to take a few days of break in between for Christmas and stuff. So this was... Uh, in a, in a lot of ways, very relaxed recording, I would say. As an optimum time for a tour to make an album. So, really cool. Um, of course, we uh, met some Sabaton fans here on the festival, and they wanted also to uh, give some questions with us, whether we could ask you. So, Jan wanted to know, are you guys worried that uh, at some point you might run out of song material? <laughs> you smile. Uh, yeah. Sadly, we will never run out of. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's true, yeah. people have been unfortunately killing each other so badly yeah. since humanity existed, and they seem to continue that way. Yeah. So we're not going to run out of ideas ever. And uh, even if there was a world peace today, we have enough material in the past mm -hmm. to cover thousands and thousands yes. and thousands of albums. Yeah. So no, no, Jan, we won't run out. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, also, was the next question: Will there be a possibility or a chance for more songs about Switzerland? Well, Switzerland hasn't really been in war for for quite some time. No. It's 700 years of neutrality, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Sweden is quite good with our 300 mm -hmm. but um, your 700 is still quite <laughs> impressive so uh, we have to dig very far in the past to find something where we can cover it uh, and um, but uh, yeah so actually when it comes to all of the nations in Europe I think that Swiss is one of the ones we knew least about <laughs> so maybe fans tell us a little bit more maybe we'll find some story around there now you know what to do um, the next question from Mirko was, um, will there be a chance for an album with calmer songs in the future? Calmer? Like a ballad yes. album? <laughs> Not <laughs> <laughs> I, I, actually, it's like this. I mean, we write the songs we write. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we get inspiration to, to do a ballad or something like that. And uh, it has been happening over times. But to do a full album about it, I don't see the point. I mean, we are a heavy metal band. Yeah. <laughs> there are heavy metal ballads, yeah. some great ones. And uh, the ones we have done, I think they are great. But it's, we, we never intend to write a certain type of songs. Mm -hmm. It just happened to be, okay, yeah. now we have 10 great songs. Great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Then we don't really care what kind of songs they are. Yeah. Thank you. Um, last question, at least, was uh, why did you choose the name Sabaton? I mean, uh, we know what Sabaton means, but why did you choose the name? Mm, okay, so we had, we were called something else in the beginning, we were called Aeon, yes. and uh, there was already other bands who were called that. Mm -hmm. So we were looking through different ideas, and pretty much everybody came down with like some few ideas. And um, then a friend of ours started to draw some logotypes based on these ideas. And uh, we just liked the idea of Sabaton. Uh, it sounded good. and. Uh, the, the meaning of it, being a heavy metal boot. Yes. Night, yeah. yeah, so it's like a heavy metal kick. Yeah. We thought, okay, that, that, that works. Okay. Good, thank you very much. Um, that was the last question, so uh, that's it.
Do you have any last words, maybe for fans or for family? Or <laughs> I don't have any for my family. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> If I have, they are very private. But for everybody out there, thank you. Thanks for having us here at Greenfields, and uh, looking forward to see you again because we are coming back. So, watch out. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks to all uh, also at home or wherever you're watching this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. And as always, you find the infos for the band below in the description. Thank you very much. Tak, tak, per.